In this video, we're going to take a look at how to go about solving multi-step equations. So, so far we've gone over how to solve a one-step equation and how to solve a two-step equation. But in this video, as we take a look at solving a multi-step equation, we're going to add this first step, which is to simplify on each side of the equation. So this is before we start um, moving stuff from side to side. We're going to focus on each side of the equation. So we're going to take a first look at this side and then this side. We're not going to move stuff from side to side yet. So if I take a look at this example, my first step would be to distribute. So I'm left with 3x minus 6 minus 5x, if I just carry that down, is going to equal 9 plus 7 which is 16. I next can combine the 3x and the negative 5x to get negative 2x minus 6 is equal to 16. So at this point, I've simplified on each side of the expression. I can't go any further. I can't combine negative 2x and neg minus 6, and I can't do anything else with the 16. So once I've completed this first step of simplifying on each side of the expression, I'm going to be left with basically a normal two-step equation, which we've worked at. So my next step will be then to add or subtract from side to side. So in this case, I'm going to look to get rid of the minus 6. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. I'm going to be left with negative 2x is going to equal 16 plus 6, which is going to be 22. My third step will be to multiply or divide. This should be at the step where I have a one-step equation. So I'm going to divide by negative 2 on both sides my x is going to equal negative 11. Now my next step um, that I wrote is checking your answer. This is something that I haven't gone over a whole lot, whole lot but I would encourage. So I have 3 times negative 11 minus 2 minus 5 times negative 11 is going to equal 9 plus 7 which is basically going to equal 16. So if I use order of operations I have 3 times negative 13 minus 5 times negative 11 would be plus 55. 3 times negative 13 is negative 39 plus 55 would indeed equal 16. So my answer will check. So this is basically how to go about solving a multi-step equation which I know we did some last year but it's always good to kind of go back over and review section is what happens when I start dealing with fractions and decimals. And the important thing is to remember that um, it'll always be the same steps. It's just going to be a little bit more complicated. And I'm going to show you um, two ways or two things to kind of keep in mind to try to get rid of the fractions and decimals. So for example, if I gave you something like 3 fourths times x minus 16 is going to equal 12. One thing I can do is I have two steps. I can either distribute this out and get 3 fourths x minus 12 is going to equal 12. And then I can kind of keep working from there. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to change one of the values I thought about. Let's say instead of working with minus 16, let's do minus 2. So this would be minus 6 fourths if I was going to work with that, or minus really then. Let's go ahead and reduce that properly. Let's set minus 3 halves. If instead of working with the fractions and trying to add those from side to side, I can multiply through by a value. So if I had to take 4 and 2, the least common denominator would be 4. If I multiply everything by 4, kind of distribute the 4 across, I'm going to be left with 3x 
minus 6 is going to equal 48. Reminder, the 6 I got from doing 3 halves times 4. Consider that 4 over 1 can reduce 3 times 2 is 6. It becomes a little bit of an easier equation then to be able to solve. So then I add 6 to both sides. I get 3x is going to equal um, 54. And then I just divide by 3. And x is going to equal 18. And I got my answer. So I can either distribute at this step, or what I could also choose to do is do 3 fourths times x minus 2 is going to equal 12. From this very beginning, I could choose to multiply by 4 thirds on both sides. Okay, These would cancel out. I would not distribute this 4 thirds here because I have 3 fourths times x minus 2. So I only need to multiply by this first value and then they cancel out. It's being multiplied by, sort of on both sides. So I do need to distribute if I have stuff being separated by a plus or minus. I don't if it's by something in parentheses. If this is going to make you nervous, I would recommend staying with this method. But here it becomes a little bit quicker. x minus 2 is equal to, if I distribute this, I'm going to have 16. I can add 2 to both sides. x would equal 18. So something to keep in mind there. If I do something like 4.1x minus 3.92 is equal to 10, for example. Okay. If I look, I think about this is tenths, this is hundredths. If I want to get rid of the decimals completely, I can multiply by 100. Okay. This would be 410, because what I would basically do in multiplying by 100, think about moving the decimal to the right two places. So 410x minus, if I multiply by 100, that would be 392 will equal, and then this would be 10 times 100, so this would be 1,000. Okay, And then you can go through and solve by there. So basically, for decimals, I count however many decimal places is the most, and then I multiply by a value of a multiple, like an exponent of 10, um, a power of 10, with however many zeros I need that matches the decimal places. And then it just becomes a little bit easier to solve that you don't have to worry about the decimals. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. Hopefully this has been a good review.